Hi everyone, my name is Crosby Elliott. I'm a senior associate at Cody, Cody McCarthy. When I'm meeting with clients who are helping to administer a loved one's estate, they generally have the biggest concern is what tax return needs to be filed and prepared. Uh, generally speaking, there's two types of taxes that impact estates. It's the estate tax and the estate income tax. Uh, the biggest difference between the two is that the estate tax is really calculated only if the assets of the estate reach over a certain threshold. On the other hand, the estate income tax is calculated based off of the income earned from these assets of the estate. So this could be interest, dividends, things like that. Just like any other personal income tax return, the estate tax return is filed every April and is paying the taxes that were earned from the income created last year. Um, in Massachusetts, if the estate has earned over $100 of income, you'll have to file a Massachusetts estate income tax return. Federally, that limit is raised up to $600. You can still take deductions just like you can on any other regular personal income tax return to help lower the amount of tax paid. On the other side, the estate tax return is due nine months after a person has passed away and generally that estate tax is paid in one lump sum. Uh, we also always recommend that that estate tax return be filed and paid before any of the assets of the estate are distributed out to the beneficiaries. If you have any questions about the estate tax or the estate income tax return, feel free to contact me or give us a call, number 617-472-5151.